Hey, I'm Ron Daler from Mastodon. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. The Foo Fighters have released another new EP. This one is titled 01050525. The track list is out. It's got 11 songs on it, uh, some live stuff and some demos and a couple of covers. Uh, they have... Uh, Let's see, the DOA demo, World Demo, Born on the Bayou, Credence Clearwater Revival cover. Uh, they have Razor Live acoustic version, uh, Best of You Live at Court Festival in 2005. So you can check that out. And Crowbar's main man, Kirk Weinstein, he has released a new song titled Dream in Motion off his solo album. It's on YouTube and digital retailers now. The album is also titled Dream in Motion, and it's going to be out on January the 24th through E1 Music. And you can uh, take a listen to the songs now on YouTube and also digital retailers. Some of the other songs on the album are Hollow Dying Man, Once Again, Enemy in Disguise, The World You Know, among others. And we all know now that Ozzy Osbourne has released his new single. It's called Under the Graveyard. It's off his new upcoming album called Ordinary Man, which is going to be out in January of 2020. Osbourne recorded with album they I recorded the album with producer Andrew Watt who also does Post Malone so uh, should be interesting to hear the full album and the production on that Zach Wilde was not involved in the recording sessions for this album Musicians involved were Guns N' Roses bassist Duff McKagan, Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith, and Andrew Watt, the producer on guitar. So you can take a listen to that now. It's out uh, through digital retailers as well. And continuing with your Maximum Threshold .net rock and metal news, Invent Animate. They have a new vocalist and a new song. His name is Marcus Vick, and their first new song is out now. You can pick it up at digital retailers and YouTube. Their new song is called Cloud Cascade, so you can take a listen to that. And Alice in Chains are now in the video game business. They, yes, they have joined the video game realm. They are part of a battle concert arena in the video games Adventure Quest 3D and AQ Worlds. The band is part of the virtual concert and fans can engage in battles against special monsters. The event is now live and will run through uh, November the 30th. And Dio fans, get ready for some reissues from the Dio camp. There is an album collection titled Dio, the Studio Album Collection, 1996 to 2004, due out in February. BMG and Ninji Entertainment Group Incorporated have partnered to reissue Dio's 1996 to 2004 studio albums Angry Machines, Magica, Killing the Dragon, and Master of the Moon. These newly remastered versions feature rare and never before released live and studio bonus tracks, remastered by longtime Dio collaborator Wynn Davis with updated artwork from frequent Dio designer Mark Sasso. Uh, these new, newly remastered deluxe versions are showcased in media book packaging along with a second disc featuring rare and unreleased bonus material. In addition to rare studio tracks, Electra included on Magica and Prisoner of Paradise included on Master of the Moon. Each bonus disc includes a selection of both rare or never before released live tracks from the accompanying tour for each studio release. All bonus tracks are also available on the streaming and digital versions. So that's cool news. And finally, Scorpions, they've teamed up with top Swedish distillers MacMira to release their groundbreaking rock and roll star single malt whiskey adding a distinct and original German twist to the drink matured in American X bourbon barrels, as well as former Oloroso sherry casks, but with an additional finish in German sweet cherry wine casks. The meeting between German wood influences and Swedish whiskey craft could not have had a better end result. So you can pick that up now. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.